Hello, and welcome to the Go Canvas Essentials course. This course is designed to give you the tools you need for a successful implementation and adoption of the Go Canvas platform. It is broken up into three sessions, getting started with Go Canvas, customize your forms and data delivery, and implementation, the key to adopting Go Canvas. At the end of this course, we hope for you to feel confident in creating new forms, collecting your data on your own, and getting your team on board. In this video, we will be covering logging into your GoCanvas account and navigating the portal. To begin, we will go to gocanvas.com and find the login button in the upper right corner of the screen. Once logged in, you will land on the dashboard tab, which is the first tab of what we call the left navigation. We will share an overview of each tab in this video. The dashboard tab features the ROI calculator, as well as a graph of your top forms by submission. After the dashboard tab, is WorkHub, which is a centrally located tab for all your in-progress, upcoming, and finished submissions. Next is the Apps tab, where you will build and edit your forms and design your PDFs. GoCanvas customers have the option to build mobile forms that are filled out by registered users on the mobile, tablet, or Windows desktop application, or upgrade to also include GoCanvas web forms that can be filled out in a web browser and do not require a registered username to fill out. In these videos, we will be covering mobile forms. Please reach out to our experts if you are interested in adding web forms to your account. Following the Apps tab is the Submissions tab. This is where all completed submissions will live, organized by the name of the form. You can manually export or schedule exports of submissions from this screen. By clicking the hyperlink to a form name, you will see details for each submission, as well as the option to view the submission standard or designer PDF, check email recipients, or send the submission to additional email addresses. After the submissions tab is reference data and images. This tab is where you can manage your reference data files and images. Reference data can be uploaded via a CSV file or the Google Sheets integration. The second to last tab, account, is actually a dropdown menu. There are several functions within this dropdown. Users is where you add and manage users. There are five user roles, company administrator, company designer, company dispatcher, company reporter, and company user. Groups allows you to efficiently assign forms to only the users in a group. Billing houses your billing information and previous invoices. Reports provide several standard reporting tools that you may find useful as you use your account more. And finally, Account settings are settings that apply across all users and forms. The very last tab is Profile, where you can update your own account information and change your password. Company Administrator is the only user role with the power to view and edit the profile information of other users in the account. The last thing we will cover in this video is the Help button, located directly above Logout on the bottom of the left navigation. This button will direct you to our Help Center and Community. The Help Center is a wealth of information pertaining to the GoCanvas platform. You will find step-by-step -step instructions on all the features and functions of GoCanvas. If you wish to discuss your own form building questions with other users, visit the community to make a post or to share ideas for how we can improve the platform in our feature request discussion. Finally, located within the Help Center is Submit a Ticket. Located in the upper right corner of the Help Center, the Submit a Ticket button is your direct link to our support team. Whether you are experiencing a minor technical issue or your entire team cannot access the account to make submissions, our support team is there to help troubleshoot and track down the cause of your problem. Please be as detailed as possible in filling out this form so they can assist you quickly. That concludes the first video of our Getting Started with GoCanvas session. Please proceed to the next video on form building basics. <laughs>